God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Welcome to the God Minute. Today is Marian Saturday and the first day of our next mini-series on the titles of Mary. Now, as you know, there are hundreds of beautiful titles to use when calling upon our Blessed Mother. And we wanted to take some time to dive deeper into some of them. So we've asked a few of our team members to select a title that means something to them or has impacted them in some way and to reflect on it. Today, we hear from Sister Carol. I'm so glad you've decided to kick off your weekend with us. During this month of August, our Marian Saturdays are going to focus on titles of Mary found in the Litany of Loretto. We ask Mary's intercession in this prayer as the seed of wisdom, mystical rose, and cause of our joy. As I pondered the many possibilities for this first reflection on Mary's titles, I decided to focus on the first two, the ones I believe Mary likes best. Both are very familiar to all of us as we use them 53 times when praying the rosary. The first, Holy Mary. We call Mary by her given name. I know when someone calls me by my first name, I immediately perk up. To use a person's name denotes a recognition of the other as person, as valuable for who he or she is. I regularly try to address others by name. That is the clerk at the grocery store, the waitress where I'm eating lunch, the custodian at my workplace, the people with whom I celebrate mass, the men I accompany in ministry. I have found doing so often brings a smile. Being acknowledged by name says, you're priceless, not for your role, rather as a person, a child of God. I'm sure Mary, too, is alerted when we pray to her by name. The second, Holy Mother of God. Mary's primary vocation, her call, was to be Mother, Mother of Jesus, her Son, and Mother of Jesus, His mystical body, which is all of us. I have a baby blues cartoon I use often that highlights this role. Zoe, who's five, and Hammy, who's three, are dressed up in adult business attire. When Mom asks, what are you doing? Zoe answers, we're playing government. Hammy's the president, and I'm the president's mother. Why not the vice president or a congressman or a senator, Mom inquires. Why the president's mother? To have Zoe whisper, It's the only thing you can be if you want to boss the president around. I'm not suggesting that Mary bosses God around. However, I think this indicates how much influence our Heavenly Mother has. In many ways, Mary is the feminine icon of God. Mothers protect, nurture, teach, comfort, advocate, love their children. Mary does all of this and much more for each of us. The usual response in a litany is, pray for us. This is also what we say when we recite the Hail Mary. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, 
now and at the hour of our death. Let's conclude today's reflection by invoking Our Lady with these two invocations. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. And finally, together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, may these prayers speak to and enhance our intimate relationship with you, our Mother. Let us glorify our Savior who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Confident that he will hear us, we ask. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Eternal Word, you taught your mother Mary to choose the path that was best. Let us follow her example and hunger for the food of everlasting life. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Christ, our Redeemer, You made the Virgin Mary the sanctuary of your presence and the temple of the Spirit. Make us bearers of your Spirit in mind, heart, and body. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Calling to mind all of our intentions, together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty God, grant that your faithful, who rejoice in the protection of the Blessed Virgin Mary, may be delivered from every evil here on earth through her prayer and come to the enduring joys of heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. O Virgin Mary, there has not risen in the world among women one similar to thee, blooming as the rose, fragrant as the lily. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. O O sacred sacred virgin, virgin, hear the song of my praise. We beseech thee, O Lord, that the heavenly intercession of the ever-glorious and blessed Virgin Mary may protect us and conduct us to eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God watch over and protect us in blessing this day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Carol. I've shared the cartoon she referenced in her reflection in the notes below if you'd like to check that out. We so appreciate you being a part of our prayer family, and we'll see you tomorrow.
time.